Praise the Lord, and thank you for tuning in to another time of Kingdom Empowerment. I'm Pastor John Thomason. And I'm Prophetess Tanya Thomason. And we're so honored of the Lord that you have tuned in on today to get encouraged and empowered yes. on today by the Word of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm telling you, God is doing miracles in the earth. Amen. 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 He is still moving by his spirit. Yes. And listen, I don't know about you, but whatever God is doing, I want to be a part of it. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. He is moving. He is doing things and he is raising people up Amen. like you and I for his glory. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, uh, before we get into the word of God and our discussion today, we always like to open up with a word of prayer. Father, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise, Lord. We thank you, Father God, that you would just breathe on the word, Father God. Make it life, Father God. Lord God, we thank you that you're bringing revelation and illumination, Father God, to the word, Father. We thank you that it would edify the hearer, Father God, that it would shift, Father God, paradigm, Lord God, that it would shift us into position, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that we find all fears of distraction and hindrances now in the name of Jesus. We glorify you, we thank you, and it is so. Amen. 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 Um, on today, we're um, going to um, begin reading today out of Exodus chapter, Exodus chapter three, Exodus chapter three, Amen. verse one. It says, now Moses was tending the flock of Jephro, mm -hmm. his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the back of the, 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 back of the desert mm -hmm. and came to Hurro, mm -hmm. the mountain of God. Hmm. <clears throat> and the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire from the midst of a bush. So he looked and behold, the bush was burning with fire, but the bush was not consumed. Then Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush does not burn. So when the Lord saw that he turned aside to look, God called to him, from the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, here am I. And then he said, do not draw near this place. Take your sandals off your feet for the place where you stand is holy ground. More, moreover, he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face for he was afraid to look upon God. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the oppression of my people who are in Egypt and have heard the and have heard their cry because of their taskmasters. For I know their sorrow. So I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up hmm, from the land to a good and large land, to a land flowing with milk and honey to a place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites, the, the Parasites and the Havites and the Jebusites. Now, therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel has come to me, and I have also seen the oppression with which the, the Egyptians <clears throat> oppressed them. Come now, therefore, and I will send you to Pharaoh that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, <laughs> who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and that I should bring the children of Israel out of Egypt? Now, after God made that great introduction, <laughs> his response was, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh? Like, now, now, if you if, if you understand Moses' history and why he was feeling like that, he was a fugitive. 
He had killed somebody in, in Egypt and ran. He had murdered someone and ran. And God is telling him, he said, I, now, now I've made this grand introduction. Uh, um, you, you, you hear my voice speaking from the bush. Mm -hmm. The bush isn't burning. You see this fire mm -hmm. and you, you, take your, you take your shoes off. Mm -hmm. And he, God has done all this, this great introduction. So he's having an, an encounter with God, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And what caught my attention is when he's having this encounter with God, he's not tripping. Until the Lord tell him to go do something. Until the Lord tell him to go do something. <laughs> that, that seemed real hard to him. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Because it required him to go back to the place that he ran from. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Because he was called to be a deliverer. Mm -hmm. Now, if you if you if you go back into Moses' history, you read um mm -hmm. in read chapter one, chapter two, it speaks about how how he was born and um the 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 pharaoh of that day um did not know the god of joseph mm -hmm. okay so the children of israel they were growing in numbers where if they decided to overtake them mm -hmm. they had the power and the backing to do it mm -hmm. you know but they remained slaves mm -hmm. so he sent out an edict kill all the firstborn sons so he sets out to kill all the firstborn son. His mother hides him and puts him in an ark. She builds a little ark, puts him in it, and then sends him down the Nile. Mm -hmm. And he goes down and out, and then Pharaoh's daughter finds Moses, and now he's raised in the palace. Now he's raised in, 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 in the palace of, of, of the one that was sent, that, that sent out the edict to kill him before he could become the deliverer mm -hmm. who God um, was, had called him to, to be. Okay. But what's so interesting is that even, you know, with all of that, he was raised in Pharaoh's house. So he, he know how things work okay. in Pharaoh's house. He know how things go. You know, when, when, when he saw, I'm sure when he saw the burning bush and stuff, it didn't, it didn't trip him out because they operated in witchcraft. So the supernatural was not foreign to Moses at that time. So he, Moses, and I'm just giving you the cliff notes, Moses figures out who, comes to the realization who he is. He's a Hebrew. And he sees the oppressions of his people. He sees one of his, his people um, getting, getting whooped. So he attacks the gentleman, you know, with the, the taskmaster, from um, doing it, and he kills him, and now he runs. And he's, at this time, I believe he's 40 years old. Now, he go, he's in the wilderness for 40 years, and now God, at this very time when God is calling him, when he's having this encounter, he's 80 now. So can you imagine, you 80 years old, God saying, um, I've seen, I've heard the cries of my people, and I'm sending you. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm calling you I've called you mm -hmm. to go and be a deliverer mm -hmm. unto them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but mind you he was always a deliverer but it took God 40 years to process mm -hmm. now remember now if you was watching last week we talked about being available and emptying yourself up because God likes empty vessels mm -hmm. right so it took God 40 years to get Moses to the process mm -hmm. And the position to be to be sent. Oh my God! <laughs> so, you know, sometimes we think, you know, all soon as we get saved, okay, God sent me out now. I'm ready to go. Right, no, it's you've a got process. to go through a process. <laughs> Come on, your old man has been in charge for a long, long time. time, and you listen. The, the, your your new man and your old man mm -hmm. is is constantly warring. Because your old man had been the boss for a while, and now right. the new man says, "I'm the boss now. You got to, you got to bow down." That's right. That's right. Right. Mm -hmm. So it took God forty years mm -hmm. to get Moses to the place mm -hmm. where he could use him. Now, mind mm -hmm. you, even at, even with this encounter, mm -hmm. he's he's talking about who am I? Wait a minute, how you? And then when you read in chapter four, mm -hmm. he 
he said, um, now, you know, I can't, uh, you know, I'm, I got a stuttering problem, right? right? You know, right, right. I'm not eloquent in speech. Right. But Moses was an architect. Mm -hmm. he, he, he just had a stuttering problem, but it didn't mean that he was slow. He was right. brilliant. Right. He was a brilliant thinker. He was raised in the house of Pharaoh. He was raised, right. the he best was, education. Had the best education, you know, <laughs> top, top of the line. Absolutely. But God was calling him. When he felt unworthy, God was calling him. When he had made a bad mistake, mm -hmm. God was calling him. But he, God had already called him before mm -hmm. he was even born. Mm -hmm. That's right. Everything was a part of the plan. Now he's coming full circle. But what's interesting, God told Abraham, mm -hmm. your descendants will be slaves for 400 years. Mm -hmm. Then after that, I will free I'm them. I'm free them. Mm -hmm. Moses, before before he was even anything, before he was even born, before his parents was born, God had already put him in the plan. Mm. Then okay, at such and such a time, mm -hmm. Moses will be born. Mm -hmm. He will be the answer. He mm -hmm. will be the breakthrough, the the the, the deliverer My to God. break them out of bondage. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So at this particular time, he will be born. Mm. And no matter what the enemy will try to do, he will survive. Because yes. he has been born for, for this, this time. time. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody mm -hmm. get in that? Come on, you trying to figure out how we, after everything that has transpired, mm -hmm. after, how, after everything that has happened in your life, you are still here because God has, come on, you are here for this time. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Here for a reason. Here for a purpose. Yes. Hallelujah. God wants to use you. Yes. This time. What would what, what, what it speak about um and Esther for such a time, time as this? this. Mm -hmm. For such a time as this, mm -hmm. Moses was born to to be a deliverer. Mm -hmm. And now he's he's having this encounter mm -hmm. with God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And he's having this encounter with God. He's like, wait a minute, who am I to go to him? Right. Thinking about his past. He's thinking about his past. Right. Thinking mm -hmm. about, well, wait a minute, now you, 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 you're God, so you already know what I did. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Let me read verse eleven. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and that I should bring the mm -hmm. children of Israel out of Egypt? Right. So he said, I will certainly be with you. And this shall be a sign to you that I have sent you. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody say sent. Sent. Come on, he didn't just go. He was sent. Mm -hmm. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God on this mountain. Listen to Moses' response. Then Moses said to God, Indeed, when I come to the children of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you, Mm -hmm. And they say to me, what is his name? Mm -hmm. What shall I say to them? And God said to Moses, I am who I am. I am who I am. And he said, thus you shall say to the children of Israel, I am wow. has sent me mm -hmm. to you. Whew, what an introduction. <laughs> so he, he has an encounter with God. God, for 40 years, mm -hmm. God takes you through this process. And mm -hmm. God said, now I'm sending you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So God, so in other words, there was, there was no sending without a process. Did you catch My that? Lord. There's no sending without a process. Mm -hmm. There's no, there's no, God takes you through a process of making, you know, even when Jesus encountered uh, um, the, the disciples, he said, follow me and I'll make you make you come on when you making something, you taking something through a process yes. mm -hmm. to make it into what you desire it to be. Yeah, the intention. Just like a cake. You got the ingredients, but uh -huh. you take the cake and you make, make it, it into a cake. Right. But you see the ingredients, but you but in your mind you see the cake. Right. You just have to take you have to go through the process so it that it can become the cake that right. you are making. Right? So God took Moses through the process, but yet Moses still moved in fear and trembling. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, Amen. He did. Like we all do. Yes. God takes us through a process. If he anoints you. Come on, Moses was anointed. He had the call of God on his life. Mm -hmm. You know, he he even though he he grew up in Pharaoh's house, God's hand was hand was on him. But even that was still a part of his process. Right, Can right. I tell you that God uses everything, the good, the bad, yeah, and the yeah, ugly. Yeah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. It's all a part of your process. Yes. It's all a part of, of God getting you to the place to where he can say, okay, now I'm getting ready to send you. Right. Amen. And what happens is this is a truism. What happens is you, and God says, I'm sending you to here. You begin to think about all the bad things that you've done in your life. Mm -hmm. you, you begin to think about all the things that you've done in the past. Mm -hmm. You know, say, surely, God, you're not sending me. I'm not worthy. Mm -hmm. That in essence, that's really what Moses is saying. Now, you know I killed somebody, right? Mm -hmm. And you're going to send me back there? Mm -hmm. the, they, listen, they, they're not going to receive my ministry. Right. He was saying, I'm inadequate. I can't speak. I don't speak well. He just Come had on. a... He had a Barrel of excuses. He sure did. <laughs> he had a barrel full of excuses, but God had a determination. Hey, listen, I, 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 I told Abraham mm -hmm. that God, I, 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 told, I told Abraham that his descendants would be slaves for 400 oh, years. Yeah. So we're coming to the end of that. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm sending you because I have to keep my promise because right. I'm not a liar. Right. What, mm, my God. Mm -hmm. So you can believe this or not believe it, but you are the answer to somebody's prayer. Mm. You are the fulfillment to somebody's prophecy. Mm. Let that sink in for a minute. All right. He told he told Abraham, your descendants will be slaves for 400 years. Yep. Then they'll be free. Right? Yep. They grew in number in Egypt, then they're raised up a pharaoh, then they became slaves mm -hmm. for 400 years. Then God raises up Moses. Moses is born. Mm -hmm. God raises and said, now I'm going to send you to free them now because I have to keep my promise. Yes, yes. What am I saying to you? Everyone, not just a few, mm -hmm. not a few special folk, mm -hmm. everyone has a purpose. Amen. Every listen, you may you just be may be the one carrying somebody's breakthrough. My God. You just may be the one carrying somebody's miracle. Amen. You just may be the answer to somebody's prayer that they prayed 20 years ago, but you just wasn't born yet. Jesus. But God, and you say, well, Lord, I, I've been praying and, and believing for this, praying and believing for, well, maybe the, the answer, come on, mm -hmm. maybe the one that's caring that hadn't been born yet. Jesus. Mm, mm. My God. Think about that. So, so in essence, what I'm telling you, that you have a purpose, mm -hmm. you have value. Come on. God's hand is upon you. Come on. Even in your wildness, even yes. in your, the, the, everything that you've done, that, 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 that wasn't good, you know, the bad decisions that you made. God said, I'm using all of that yes. to, to, to process you, to develop you so that I can send, send you because you. somebody prayed for something and my you contain Lord, the answer. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. I told you you're not just here on earth just to take up oxygen. My God. You're here for a reason. Mm -hmm. We're here for a reason. Come on, we're here for a, such a time as this. Come on, high five me on that one, prophet. <laughs> Let your process happen. Why? Because somebody is waiting to see the fulfillment of that prophecy. My Lord. Come on, what does the Bible say? His word shall not return unto you void, but it shall accomplish exactly. what it has been sent out to do. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. It's got to listen. That that word, that that word of prophecy over your life. Come on, desires to be fulfilled. Yes. It wants to go back to the Father and say, mission accomplished. Right. Hallelujah. Mm. Somebody pray, pray for something, a solution. Mm. You, you may be the very one that's, that's, that contains that solution mm. to that problem. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. So in essence, that's his prophecy. That means that within somebody, they may not even be born right now. Mm. But within somebody, it's the answer to cancer. Mm. It's the answer to AIDS. My Lord. It's the answer to a, a particular disease that they say is uncurable. Mm. 
oh, come on, God, God heals in a lot of different ways. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes God will do it supernaturally, yes. or God may use a doctor. Maybe, maybe, maybe mm, my God, maybe the doctor that contains the answer hasn't hasn't been through med school yet, mm. or maybe he's just not starting. Mm. Amen. And God, come on, may keep you around long enough. My God, so you can it. receive. Yeah, yeah. And that's just what I'm saying to you. God hasn't forgotten you. Amen. And you have a purpose. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory to your name. Moses had a purpose. Yes. God had a plan for his life. Right. Hallelujah. In spite of his mistakes, mm -hmm. in spite of, of the things that he did, mm -hmm. even though it, it, his, his heart was in the right place, but how he went about doing it was wrong. Was wrong. Mm -hmm. And he was gone. And he busted up and he was gone. He did. And he did. I believe that he... He he I I believe he delayed his process. Mm. I believe that Moses delayed his process dealing with guilt and shame. And and and, and it took just that long, you know, to come full circle. Yes. Um, but I do I believe he delayed his process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I believe in the beginning and he he wanted he wanted to deliver his people, but he wasn't ready. No. His his way his way of doing it was not the way that he was right. designed to That's do it. That's right. Created to right. do it. Right, because he still had questions. Right, <laughs> right, right. So God tells him, he said, tell him that I am have sent you. Right. So, so, so in essence, Moses went before God could send him. Mm -hmm. mm. Can I tell you, it's a difference? It's a it difference is. when you, you just go versus... God has God sent, sent you. you. That's right. See, because when God sends you, that means that he's going to back you. Right. But when you go without God sending you, you're going on your own and just right. hoping for the best. Right. And then you can't invite God to participate. No. Mm -mm. God is Later. only going to participate in stuff that he has <laughs> ordained. Absolutely. And there's a time and a season for everything. Under yes. The sun. So timing is everything the season is everything and not going before god yes yes and you know what's, what's, what's powerful about this what it speaks about moses there's a I, I can't remember what the verse is but it says that god made moses as a god unto pharaoh mm, mm. which means that that when Moses, because Moses was sent to be a deliverer, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That was his calling. That was his assignment. Mm -hmm. God backed him, mm -hmm. and God backed him with with signs and wonders that had to deal with nature. Mm -hmm. So, Amen. which means it, that the miracles that that the children of Israel saw didn't have anything to do with an do with an anointing. It had to do with presence. Mm, that's good. <laughs> Jesus, mm -hmm. come on. That means if there's, mm, my God, that means, and, and like in the New Testament, those those miracles, you know, that Jesus did, he, he anointed. Right. The anointing. Right. 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 But in the Old Testament had to do with the presence of this, so, or, or the glory. Right. Right. That's that, right. that brings forth those type of miracles, creative yes. miracles, yes. signs, wonders, and, and, and miracles. miracles. Yes. Amen. You know, but Jesus did see those type of miracles when he began to walk on the water, speak yes. to the wind. Yes. But that's because he was, in, you know, he was working with right. his father. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible says that God anointed Jesus, you know, and the Holy Spirit was with us. So the essence mm -hmm. of the Godhead was working with, with him Jesus, but right. he needed the holy spirit right, with him right amen right amen but but god went with moses mm -hmm. moses was fair and true and even though Ooh. god was back and he said i i, I can't talk and, and he said you know what go and i'll I send aaron with you I got, gonna right, talk for I got, you. right i got you some backup <laughs> <laughs> but one way hook a crook you're going. I need you to go. I made a promise. Right. Come on, God has made some promises. Right. He purposed him. He purposed him for that assignment. He put him in the earth for that assignment. He was sent down that Nile to be drawn out by the Come Pharaoh's on. daughter for that purpose. Yes. And when it was time, he came out of hiding. He, yeah. Come on. <laughs> 
He began to walk in his true identity. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. he had, so, because in the beginning, he didn't know who he was. Mm -hmm. He was a mystery to himself. All a part of the process. He was a sleeper cell. Yes, he was. In the house of Pharaoh. In the house of Pharaoh. A sleeper mm -hmm. cell in the house of Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yes, he was. Because he didn't know who he was. That's right. Once he found out who he was, he right. tried to move before he was sent. sent. That's right. He tried to move, be, you know, before he received the right. backing. Right, right. Before he was processed. Right. So that's like saying, I'm a child of the king. I'm a, I'm a child of God, and I'm this and I'm that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you go out and do, oh, yeah. try to go out and do, but God has not sent you because God will not no send you without processing you. Right. And there's no backing. That's like God will give your vision and you're going to try to build it without him and then once you built what you believe that he wanted then you invite him to come right 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 <laughs> <laughs> hallelujah mm, process is everything it is it is everything amen it amen. is everything amen. before before god sends you he has to process you amen he has to process you amen. you know he you know in chapter four he, he, he asked Moses, he, he said, what is that in your hand? Mm. He said, it's a stick. He said, throw it on the ground. Mm. He took it to a snake. Right. He got afraid. Now, take it by the tail. That's right. He took it by the tail, and then it went back. He said, mm. now, take your hand, put it in, put it on your sleeve. Mm -hmm. Pulled it out. It was white. It was leprosy. Mm -hmm. Put it back in, then it was healed. Mm. He said, you said, you show them these signs. Mm -hmm. and, and And tell them what I said. Mm. So God sent him with, oh my God, with the backing. Yes. With the proof. Mm. See, when God sends you, he sends proof with you. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When he sends you on an assignment, but before he sends you on an assignment, come on, he has to process you. Amen. 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 You know, and, and, and like I said before, you are the answer. To somebody's prayer. Amen. That person's prayer is somebody that you may not have even met. Right. Somebody say, Lord, uh, uh, send somebody to minister to my son. Mm -hmm. That person may not come 20 years from, uh, or 30 years because maybe they weren't born. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they was too young. Mm -hmm. And then the time happens that they come in contact with that person. That was an answer to prayer mm -hmm. that somebody had prayed 30 years ago. Mm hmm so somewhere along the line, we all play a part somewhere to touch someone. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Stretch your hands toward them. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just thank you, Father. That Lord, I, I thank you for your, your, your anointing, your, your, your calling, Father God, on, your, on, on the person that is watching. Father God, I thank you, Father God, that as they go through the process, Father God, you are making so that you can send them in the name of Jesus to bring healing to be uh, breaking for Lord. They, they contain the answer yes. to yes. somebody's prayer. They yes. contain the answer to the, the breakthrough, Father yes. God. Whatever you have contained yes. that you have put in them before they got here, yes. before they were received, Father God. Yes. I thank you, Father thank God, you. that as you process, as they remain in the process, yes. everything that you put in them, they should to pass. It shall come to pass. Yes, Lord. And we thank you for it now. Yes, in Jesus', in Jesus name. name. Amen. 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 Listen, hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Man, I enjoyed that. Amen. I, we pray that you were blessed Amen. on today. Hallelujah. God was just giving us so much revelation. <laughs> and this is such a, a rich text. Amen. Amen. Um, we we just and we and we just enjoyed and we pray that you was blessed. Uh, we would love for you to come and join us here at Kingdom Empowerment Ministries yes. here in Port Huron. Our address is twenty seven hundred Pine Grove, Grove Avenue. Avenue. Uh, our Sunday services are at twelve noon. At twelve noon, we would yes. love for you to come in. Me and Prophetess, we would love Absolutely. for you to come and join us live here at Kingdom Empowerment Ministries. We know yes. that you will be blessed yes. of the Lord. Um, you can also watch us on Facebook. Yes. Um, on our, you can go to our Facebook page, and our Facebook page address is at Kingdom and Power, at Kingdom and Power. Uh, you can catch our Bible study uh, at twelve thirty on Wednesdays on Facebook. Um, 
we also have a website if you would like to find out more about the ministry yeah. our our website address is www.kingdomempower.org um, and we also have a youtube page now mm -hmm. yes um you could go to that youtube page the U youtube page is the official kingdom empowerment ministry Amen. the official kingdom empowerment ministries so you can go and you can like and subscribe amen amen and we know that you will be blessed by the content that we have on there so so that you can continue to grow in the lord amen listen amen. we love you and we will continue to pray for you and please pray for us as well amen, amen. Uh, we love you and we see you next time for, for your, your kingdom, kingdom empowerment. empowerment blessings <laughs>